for. We'll apply an energy cost of thrown you onto the conservation bandwagon. This next segment is just for you. Chris Bell shows us some easy and inexpensive ways to save resources, both yours and the planet. Now that sustainability has made its way into popular culture, there's no shortage of innovative technologies that can help you green up your life. Yet among all the cool gadgets and whiz-bang inventions, the easiest and least expensive way to go green remains conservation. Conservation is not using energy, essentially. It's, it's the ability to um, use less energy. And uh, then there's also energy efficiency. Is when you need to use something, you use it more efficiently. And while conservation may not be as sexy as solar panels or as hip as hybrids, it's a lot cheaper and it offers a host of other benefits. Conservation really helps Edison save costs. Um, the less our customers use, the fewer power plants or uh, generation is needed, and that is the cheapest thing to do. Um, also, our state continues to grow in population and more and more power is needed, and we worry about uh, supply sometimes. So um, the more that we can shed in, in usage, um, the more sure our uh, power supply is. In a typical building, the lion's share of energy goes to space heating and cooling. But if you look at where that goes, a good portion goes right out the window, literally. That's where the low-hanging fruit of conservation lies. The first thing to do is to find out where your leaks are. You can hire a professional to do a home energy audit, or you can do a simplified version yourself. You can go to your windows and see if they rattle. If they do, you likely have a leak. You can inspect the framing around it. If you have any daylight coming through, you likely have a leak there too. If you're having trouble locating leaks, you can do a basic version of a home pressurization test. To do that, you simply close all the windows in the house, turn off all combustion devices, stove, water heater, and then turn all the vents on, bathroom vents too. Then you can use something like incense around your windows and doors and see if the smoke moves anywhere. If you have any movement of the smoke coming towards you, you likely have a leak. On the outside of your house, inspect all areas where different building materials meet, including all exterior corners, where siding and chimneys meet, and areas where the foundation and the bottom of exterior brick or siding meet. Stopping leakage is simple and easy. Expanding foam, caulk, or a little insulation can plug most of the leaks you'll find. You can also apply inexpensive weather stripping to leaky doors and windows. If you have electronics in your home, you likely also have a vampire. This kind of vampire sucks electricity or idle current even when it's off. There's standby modes in a lot of equipment that can also draw you know, power even though it's in a low power mode. So it's better to find a way to completely turn these devices off if you can, if you're not using them. Luckily, it's easy to kill that kind of vampire. For electronics, you can plug them into a power strip. And when you turn the power off to the power strip, it cuts off all the power to the devices completely. For a situation like this, where it's connected to your TV, it's not that convenient. Enter the smart strip. This type of new surge protector has a control outlet. And when you turn the power off to that device, say it's your TV, it cuts the power off to all the rest of the devices. Now, for those devices that you don't want to turn all the power off completely, say like a satellite receiver, it does have an always-on outlet. While this device costs a little more than a typical surge protector, the manufacturer says it can pay for itself and save electricity in less than a year. Weatherizing your home can reduce heating and cooling bills from 10 to 30 percent. To learn more about conservation techniques, go to our website, citytv18.com. Well, that does it for this month's episode of Inside Santa Barbara and our time here at the Old Spanish Days Fiesta festivities. Next time, we'll take you somewhere new and keep you up to date about other stories happening inside Santa Barbara. If you have any questions or comments about our show, give us a call at City TV at 564-5311. You can also watch us online at CityTV18.com. I'm your host, Rachel Senes, and remember to get involved inside Santa Barbara. Thank you.